स्टूडेंट्स स्टडी वी हैव डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द फीचर्स ऑफ एम एस वर्ड रिलेटेड ऑल द कमांड्स इन लास्ट क्लासेस वी हैव डिस्कसिंग मेनी कमांड्स लाइक एज वॉट इज एम एस वर्ड वॉट इज हाउ टू स्टार्ट एम एस वर्ड हाउ टू कॉपी द टेक्स्ट हाउ टू कट द टेक्स्ट हाउ टू पेस्ट दिस वन सो मेनी टाइम मेनी things in uh, declared and explained in the last video related to ms word so today's first topic is today's today's first topic is alignment Will work. 
our text will align our text will align clear so this is the thing and i hope that you have completed this one this is very very important because and this shortcut key is very very important control plus l is for left alignment control plus r is for right alignment center alignment control plus e and just fair alignment that is control plus and these all are the this is the step and this is the shortcut key this is the shortcut key and this is the step for inserting the alignment we recognition if we want to text locate in left side of the page so all text will appear in left side when we use left align when if you want to text will locate in right side of the page so your text will use right align so your text will all appear in right side of the page just left right and center if you want to centralize centralize the text will all text will be center of the pages so we can use center align and so our all text will centered in our pages and next thing what next thing in justify mean jaisa ki tum pehle jaan lo tumko chahiye pehle jaise ki tarah pehle jaisa tha us tarah se the default that is what so we can use justify alignment so if you more things person the default alignment is left alignment mean if you can not using the alignment so already default setup what in left alignment so this is very very important anybody tell to you tells to us what is the default alignment of the word document so we directly say that what left alignment is the default alignment of the word document so this is related to what this is the alignment next thing is line spacing next thing is line spacing so this space this is the first line and this is the second line so the distance between first line and second line so this one is called the line space mean we can increase the line we can decrease the line so no line space ko badha sakte hain aur kam kar sakte hain this is the depends on users so this one is the called in what is called the line spacing so we can decrease them and we can decrease them so this one is what this one is the line spacing so how can we increase and decrease the line spacing so directly here we can first of all select the text mean when you want to increase and decrease the line spacing so second click home tab click home tab third word click on line spacing option option from even from paragraph group paragraph group then the next thing what select required option select required option 
so your light is visible in pairs and the pairs. So again, I am repeating line is facing. This is your first line. This is your second line. This one is space. So this space is called the light space. You mean space between two line. Space between two line is called the line spacing. So this space is called the line spacing. So we can increase and decrease the lines from by this space. Select the text. You can click on home tab. And third is click on line spacing option from the paragraph group and next select the required option. If you want to increase, so you can use most to point. If you want to decrease, so you can use decreasing point. So this one is the step of line spacing. This one is the step of line spacing. Next thing, paragraph spacing. This is also same. This is the next thing. Paragraph is this. Similar, well, suppose that this is your first paragraph and this is your second paragraph. So you use this statement, this paragraph is this. You can choose first different spaces and second different spaces. So this one, this species is called the paragraph species. Similar, all the text, all the steps will send. Select the text, select the text or paragraph, then graph, second click on home tab and third click on paragraph space, click on paragraph space option from paragraph group, from paragraph group and then select required option so we can use we can decrease, we can increase the paragraph spacing from these steps. Same, both are same approximately. Only different is there is the space between two lines, here is the space between two paragraphs. Next thing is bullet and numbers. Next thing is bullets and numbers. So, first of all, know about the bullets and numbers. Number that means 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I am writing now this time. Topic number 4. Bullet and number. Bullet and number. That means bullet means many Dice. Dice will be there. Circuit will be there. This type of this type of will be there. Mean many shapes will be available. Mean use for suppose I don't know only ten lines that we can to see again one of the star lines. So ये मारा होता है क्या? Bullets. या dice हो गया. Dice use किए. या कोई भी क्यों यूज़ करेंगे वो यूज़र को डिपेंड करता है कि आप क्या यूज़ करते हैं इस तरह से हम लोग अपने लाइन के आगे यूज़ करते हैं ये होता है हमारा बुलेट्स और उसके बाद आता है उसका क्या जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन इन दिस वन ये रिक्वायर इन एसेंडिंग ऑर्डर एसेंडिंग ऑर्डर भी होगा या डिसेंडिंग ऑर्डर में ये हमारा ऑप्शन वहाँ पे रहता है तो ये कैसा ऑप्शन मिलेगा वो ऑप्शन इस तरह से है This one, 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 this
कंसीडर दिस टाइप ऑफ नंबरिंग सिस्टम इन सारा वो किस में रहता है एसेंडिंग ऑर्डर और इसमें एसेंडिंग और डिसेंडिंग उसमें कोई फर्क नहीं पड़ता है तो दिस वन इज रिलेटेड ऑल द एसेंडिंग ऑर्डर टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम दिस वन रोमन नंबर दिस इज द नंबर दिस इज द अल्फाबेटिक नंबर्स इन एसेंडिंग ऑर्डर ए बी सी डी ई एफ इस ए बी सी डी दिस वन तो दिस वन इज यूजिंग नंबर्स दिस वन इज रिलेटिंग बुलेट्स तो हाउ कैन यू बी यूज बुलेट्स एंड नंबर्स हाउ कैन यू बी यूज बुलेट्स एंड नंबर्स we can use bullets and numbers first of all select the text select the text second word click home tab click home tab enter select bullet Of 
highlighting the text. So our next topic, text cases. Our next topic, text cases. And this is very, very important. And you have to know this one. Next, uh, six number, text cases. Text. It has five types. It has five cases. First, only lower. Second, upper. Third, sentence case. And next, toggle case. And next, title case. Next, title case. So this is the five cases. So how can you identify this one? First, lower. When in my school school's name is DBPS. Is all all the letters will in lower cases. So this one in this line. These cases is called the lower cases. Second, my school's name is D B P S. Then all the letters will be capitalized. Sara letters kya hoga? Capital letter mein hoga. My school's name is D B P S. So this cases is called the upper case. Next, sentence case. You know in English you buy okay? English meaning the first letter of the line will what? Will in capital. Let's say my school's name is B B P S. So all the grammatically will be available. So first letter of the line will what? Will capital. Then always in sentence cases. So any places, any reverse name, any most wanted places, most valuable places will its capital names. So like upper district name we can write what? We can write what? So this first letter will what? Will be capitalized. So this one is the sentence case. This one is the sentence case. Total case that is all first letter of all word is lower cases. In lower cases, in the first jo letter hoga, first letter wo humara hoga lower case. Matlab small me hoga. Aur baaki wala sab kya hoga? Capital hoga. Jaise likhte hain. Total case mein M Y S C H O L S Name N A M P I S First B B P S If this one is what? This one is the toggle case. Means the first letter is what? First letter in small. That means in lower cases. So this cases is called the Total cases. Next title cases mean the all letter of the subject of total case mean all letter, all letter, first letter of the word is in capitalized. Suppose that my is goes and This one is the what? This one is the all five cases. All five cases. First, lower case. Second, upper case. Third, sentence is Fourth, toggle case. Five, title case. This one is the what? This one is the text cases in our word document. In our word document. So this one is the cases. So, so next. How can we insert the text cases in our 
documents. So how can you insert it with how can you insert it? So we can insert it by the steps. By the steps. Then first step what? First select the text. Second word, click on home tab. Second, click on home tab and next click on step cases command from the home from the font group. Select the text cases, select the case and click OK. What? First, select the text. Select the text. Second, click on text. Second, click on tab. Next, click click on text places from from phone group from phone group and next select text cases. Required select required text case. So next word next click okay next click okay. So our text inward our text cases will be inserted in our document in our document. This is the text cases. This is the text cases. I hope you are understanding this one very easily. Select the text first step, second click on tab, third click on text cases from font group and next select required text cases. That means that means lower case, bottom capitalize, and that means to upper case, lower case, title case and sentence case. These all are five cases. So we can select for Required text cases and click on OK. So our text will work, our text will be suggested in our documents. So this one is completed. This one is what? This one is the text cases. Next thing is shortcut keys. Shortcut key is the this is the last key, the last shortcut key. Saving the time. Control plus A, Control plus B, Control plus C, Control plus D, Control plus E to Control plus Z. So mostly we have to learn about this one. What is the work of Control plus A? And what is the work of Control plus B? What is the work of Control plus C? So this type of or we can use what? We can use shortcut key. And so we can use shortcut key for saving the times and quickly do the work. And last topic of your solution, break the document. Break the document. That means very very important. In how to print the document. Print the document that is soft copy of your MS Word pages. So again. first of all, open MS Word document. MS Word document. Next, click on Microsoft Office button. Microsoft Office button. And next part. Click on print commands. Click on print commands. And next part, next thing is select the required option. Select the required option.
so today's have to learn all things about the these topics alignment line spacing paragraph spacing bullet shell numbers highlighting the text tag spaces shortcut keys and printing the documents so next day we have discussing more thank you